Okay, here we are with the latest turbocharged burn barrel that we're renaming to supercharged burn barrel because that really is what it is. It's supercharged, not turbocharged. There's the intake where I put the blower on it. Um, I want to give you guys just a rundown on how I made it inside and outside. Um, this is the latest revision. I guess it's revision four. I'm just using four inch duct inside which goes into an elbow inside. Once it's in the elbow, the elbow turns up slightly to give it, I guess, like a little cyclone effect. Um, I also sealed it using the same type of seal that you would use on a cast iron stove to try and keep as much of the uh, pressure inside the barrel instead of blowing things out. Um, on this latest one, to light it, I went to a iron pipe flange where I can get in and light it and then seal it back up because that little door that I had before wasn't working good. Um, I've added these little um, stabilizers around it, not because it moves around. It's when I'm filling it, sometimes I tend to push hard and it starts to slide off the block. So I just did that to stabilize it. I really don't need to worry about the barrel coming off um, to empty ashes. It burns so hot that there's barely any ash at all left. It's pretty clean. Um, I've changed the lid slightly. The lid now I'm using kind of funnels it from a larger opening to a smaller opening. The problem I was having was the grate on the top that I wanted was about quarter inch hole screening and the quarter inch hole screening I could find wasn't thick enough and it was basically vaporizing pretty quick. So now I'm using a stainless steel tiny barbecuing grate. We'll see how that works out. If the openings are still too large, then I'll get another grate on top of that one that's flipped the opposite way so it'll create a bunch of small holes, but we'll see how this one does. Um, the ring I'm using, the same, same ring that I had before to seal the top when it goes. And I also, because of the opening and just rust and water when I'm not using it, I just put this little cover over it just to keep the water out. Um, so this burn barrel we'll call supercharged burn barrel four. Um, this will probably be the last prototype because number three worked really well that you saw in the video. Um, one last thing, all you tree huggers, you know, when you stop driving cars and, and going to places to pollute and using items that are created by pollution, you know, this is nothing comparatively speaking. I live in a very rural area on 22 acres surrounded by farms who do giant burn piles where I see smoke all day long when they do their burn piles. They don't see my smoke. My smoke almost goes straight up as it swirls up. They might smell a little if the wind is harsh but my stuff burns fast and clean and I really only use this barrel when I'm burning green items like after a hurricane when you have trailer load after trailer load of fresh green items um, that's when I mostly use this I use just a regular burn barrel for see it over there I use a regular burn barrel when I'm doing really dry stuff because you can just keep throwing it in as it's burning that one's got little cyclone fins cut into it and if it needs a boost I can put the blower on it in low and that'll that'll burn all your dry stuff but for your green stuff or anything that's hard to burn this will incinerate it almost immediately so I will come back in a day or two with a new video of this one I'm gonna be trimming the trails and getting ready and don't worry my neighbors love this thing um, so you'll see what it's capable of in a couple days thanks for watching